Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. If this is your first time to this channel, once a week we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece here. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I just wanted to give you an update on some snakes that are hatching out. As you know, we have been maternally incubated or, you know, technically just leaving the eggs with the moms for all of our clutches this season, as we did last season. And we've had a couple hatch out. Um, before we dive deep into that, um, I wanted to mention how cool I thought it was in last week's uncut video. Like all the comments I thought were super respectful, despite talking about a fairly polarizing subject, a.k.a. the United States election coming up. Um, I thought it was cool. You know, some, some people in the comments were like, oh, I'm not coming back till after election's over, so I have to deal with this. I was like, deal with, I, I was kind of confused. I was like, deal with some pretty, what I thought were respectful, you know, people putting their opinions, but like, I thought everybody was super respectful down in the comments. I, was, I didn't see anything non-respectful. Anyway, um, I also want to update from the video a couple weeks back, doing way better. Jump back in the gym and just like mental state has just like gone up. It's amazing how doing that works. And yeah, just feeling a lot, a lot better, just about everything. So stoked. And again, thank you to everybody that reached out. Um, so snakes, those chickens you might be able to hear in the background, they're outgrowing this little bin and are probably ready to go outside pretty soon. They are pooping, they're starting to hop out and poop all over my floor, which I'm I'm not a fan of at all. So family's gonna have to take the chickens and go. <laughs> so I wanna start off. Coming into the dark here. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys over here. I'm gonna go get this. I haven't had a chance yet to make my husbandry pro stickers, which, by the way, there's a. Uh, if you want to check out the app, go to the link in the description, and then there's a coupon code Cusco60 that you can use for signing up on the app and getting a free trial with the program. Some people were asking in the last video, like how much does it cost? And you get a 60 free day trial to try it out without any cost. So go check it out. Um, this mom here is Maya, the Coral Glow. And she's got her clutch hatching. And there's one I think that has not pipped yet, but everything else has. The cool thing about this mom that I wanted to mention Somebody was asking me the other day, like, what's the benefit? I think it was actually my mother-in-law. She's asking, like, what's the, what's the benefit of taking the eggs from mom versus leaving them with mom and just talking over the whole process with somebody who really doesn't, um, you know, know anything about the snake world or any, anything about the process of raising baby snakes or hatching them out or anything like that. And I was kind of talking through some of the reasons why people would artificially incubate the eggs. Lots of good reasons, I think. Uh, you have, have full control over the environment, like 100%. Um, and But one of the things that people mention is also like being able to wash the mom of the egg smell and try to get her back on food that she, so she can be ready for the next season or at least get her weight back on faster. And I've come to find that that doesn't really work all the time. It's more up to the snake. Like I've done the same process with many, many snakes where you, you know, take a little drop of Dawn or whatever and really make sure you get that egg smell off them. But, you know, they're not ready to go back on food right away. Some of them, they will take a month or two or more sometimes to go back on food. Since same difference or same thing here with this snake and a couple of the other snakes that actually let stay on the eggs. She, while sitting on these eggs, had no problem taking a meal. She actually took several meals while sitting on the eggs. I would just basically offer to, you know, her just like I would the rest of the snakes, even though she's sitting on eggs. And she ate, no problem. Just snatched the rat right off the tongs and while sitting on eggs, devoured those rats, and she didn't have a problem. Um, these are all going to be het pied and available at some point. Um, obviously not anytime super soon. I'm really being patient with listing animals uh, this season. I'm just not in a rush to, to really move anything. Um, this egg seems like it's... There's a... There's a live snake in there for sure. That thing is just, this thing is just like on the verge of, it's basically empty. I mean, empty of fluid. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to disturb you so much there. This one is like, I can just feel the snake. It's so trippy. I can feel the whole snake in there. I hope it's okay. What do you guys think? Should we open that up and see if that snake 
is okay. It feels, it feels okay. I mean, there's not much fluid in there. It's like, feels like just an empty egg with just a snake in it. Like, you know what I mean? No, no fluid whatsoever. So maybe we should open it up and take it out. Make sure it's not like getting stuck in there or something. This one's choking itself out. It's funny when they poke their heads out and they can barely squeeze those head boobs out of there and they start to choke themselves out like that. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but like, I, I know you just keep coming out. You won't be choking anymore, but they can't pull their head back in, especially with this egg is starting to kind of get a little hard now that it's been cut through and the fluid is, you know, open to the air. It's like kind of, the shell is kind of hard. And I'm sure the snake is like, I just want to pull my head back in, but can't because those head boobs are too uh, voluptuous. So let's take a let's take a look at a couple other babies that just hatched. These all had their one meal uh, so far, and I haven't shown you. I know there was another clutch that I'm waiting to show you guys. I really wanted to get them all feeding and whatnot. I was pretty happy about this baby right here. There's another one, but it's uh, you know not crazy genetically. And this one's not necessarily crazy genetically either, but it's still a cool looking snake, I think. So have a look here. This is uh, what I'm fairly certain is going to be an Enchi red stripe clown and maybe a little bit more. The, the pairing was um, yellow belly pinstripe extreme gene het clown. That was the female and uh, she was paired with an Enchi red stripe spot nose clown. So obviously the, the clown for sure, um, the Enchi for sure, the red stripe for sure. And uh, those, those are the ones I would say for sure. Not certain about the, uh, yeah, I won't say anything else because th those are the genes I see with 100% clarity. Clarity, but good looking snake, I think. Always stoked when they take their first meal and then I can give them a little. Man, that's such a good looking snake. Looks even better than it did the first time I looked at it. That is awesome. You guys want to take a look at those chickens? No? Okay, we won't. All right, let's take a look. Let's, let's open up this egg and let's see what's going on here. Little eggy. Let's see how you doing in there. Hi, mom. You're doing a great job. You did a fantastic an excellent job with these snakes and your little babies and sitting on them and eating while doing it. Really good job. Super stoked. You did a fantastic job. And you're being nice with me too. Not even trying to bite my hand because I'm not here to hurt. I'm here to help. I'm going to take a look, open this sucker up. Use the old freedom breeder technique. The, do a little hoop, doop, 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 doop. And there's a little fluid in there. Couldn't really feel much. Cool thing about that technique is, uh, you don't rip any of the veins. You don't cut through any of the veins. And I figure this is the last egg to hatch. Like uh, snakes, snakes looking nice, and, nice and healthy. I see a little good movement in there. Um, uh, unless that's a little bit of a kink right there. Mm, hard to say. Hard to say. We'll wait. Now it's open. The snake will crawl on its own. Other cool thing about that technique that I really like is like once you've opened it up a little bit and you set it back down, it just kind of closes back up. And often, I have mentioned this before, but often when I do this um, and I set it back down, it closes back up. The snake will many times end up cutting out of the egg still because they don't realize that there's an opening up top for whatever reason. They just do their instinctual thing and cut out. But if for whatever reason that snake was having some kind of issue getting out, at least it can now. I'm hoping it's not kinked. It looked like maybe. We'll definitely do an update on this clutch uh, once they're all shed and fed and all that. but. Man, let's take, a, let's take a look at one more snake from the other clutch that I haven't really shown in detail yet, but I will, but I will at some point. Let me put you down here. Oh, look at that, that's fun. Hello, fan. Oh, I'm like little chick, little boy with a propeller hat. Whoa, you go over here. You go over there and Oh yeah, this one. Now there's some other other phenomenal. You know, arguably, this is not the best looking snake in the clutch, 
but I just love the color of the head. And I'm only hesitant to show because I'm not 100% certain what's happening here. It might be a stranger red stripe, pinstripe clown. Uh, maybe. I'm holding the camera at a super awkward angle. And I feel like I, I can't even see if I'm showing you guys or not. Uh, okay, why did I do this? There we go. That's a cool looking snake right there, dude. I'm stoked on that. I'm I'm really stoked too that I've kind of taken this posture position this season of like I'm not any rush to try and get things on the market. I just kind of want to let them let them breathe and let them take their time, which will give me more time to like appreciate these and figure out wh whether or not I'm really even gonna let any of them go. Because <laughs> this clutch hashed out some. Absolutely phenomenal stuff, dude. Look at that. I mean, is it GHI? I don't know. I don't know about that. GHI was definitely in the pairing. But oh, we'll see, dude. I'm gonna do a video where I show these with like the macro lens, and I'm sure what I'll do is actually end up voicing over the video because whatever does hap ends up happening is like I'm doing these identification videos and trying to show the snake and like looking at it and talking about it and looking at it with my eyes. And then I go back and put it on the camera and I'm looking on my monitor screen and with the macro lens, you end up blowing it way up and you're like, oh, there's all these things I can see now on the snake on the video that I couldn't see while I was just looking at it with my own eyes, which is pretty cool. I think that we get that good of quality that I can literally see the snake better on the video than I can by looking at it with my own eyes right here, right up front. So that's fun. I hope you guys are all having a, a great time out there and Make sure you stay tuned for the next video because it should be. Oh, you know what? Actually, this has actually been the busiest week of my entire life. And I knew it was going to be. We got VBS happening all week and I'm helping the music for that in between snakes hashing and just like taking care of snakes and all the other things, um, you know, Red Line Report channel and uh, Freedom Breeder and all, all that stuff. Uh, I don't know that there will be a video this weekend. It just kind of depends on how crazy the next couple days go. So, worst case scenario, as far as uploads go, I will be back next week on Wednesday. But maybe there will be a video this weekend. I don't know. You just have to make sure you're subscribed because it turns out like over half of the people that watch my videos, I find looked at the analytics and trying to be smart about it. Half of the people, over half of the people watching my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. So if you like what you're seeing and you enjoy this stuff, think about subscribing because I think that helps the channel. I don't know. <laughs> you guys take care of yourself. Take care of each other. See you on the next video. Aloha.